today I'm gonna get my Martha Stewart on and put on a little cooking show for you guys. Um, this is a question I get asked quite a bit. What kind of foods do I eat uh, before big rides or before races and the kind of foods that fill me up and give me give me the most energy and so I thought it'd be cool to put on a little cooking show for you guys and kind of show you what those meals are for me and what I prefer and what makes me feel good and helps me recover for the next day and also gives me energy for that day's workout. So today we're going to start off with some oatmeal in the morning, a cup, cup of rolled oats, I usually add a half a cup of granola, gives it a little better flavor and a lot less bland, throw in a banana, I like to make it all nice and organized like this, half a cup of raisins and cranberries, kind of whatever, whatever's available I'll use. My neat little row of raspberries. Eat that one. Put a tablespoon or two of chia seed there with some brown sugar as well. Give it a little more flavor. And this is super filling. Uh, I top it off with some dates. And usually, I honestly, I struggle to eat this whole bowl a lot of times. So it's kind of a kind of a battle usually. So that'll that'll keep you going. Top it off with some almond milk. If I'm feeling extra feisty, I'll use chocolate almond milk or even chocolate cashew milk. Tastes like dessert. There you go. Now you're ready to ride. refuel my go-to rice in a smoothie this was after a pretty big training day I rode four hours so the trick here is I always use sushi rice it's a lot wetter the sticky rice and add vegetable broth it makes it taste a lot better it's not as bland as just plain white rice start dicing up a sweet potato here I only use a half which I'll still have leftovers because I'm gonna throw in chop this up and Add some butternut squash to it as well. If I wasn't using the butternut squash, I would chop, chop up the whole sweet potato. And this is always good to do before a ride too, so you have something you can come back and pop something in the microwave and you got an instant meal. And while that's simmering on the stove, I'll start making my smoothie here. It's actually going light on the bananas today. Uh, sometimes I throw in, usually I throw in protein powder, but I actually didn't have any, so just had to make do with just the frozen fruit, some chia seeds, a couple bananas, some almond milk, make it nice and creamy. And after that's blended up, I'll throw in three or four handfuls of baby spinach, or sometimes I use kale or any other charred greens. And a smoothie is a great way to get rid of any fruit or vegetables that you have that are on the verge of going bad, you can just toss them in a smoothie and it doesn't matter. Add a little peanut butter. Give it a nice texture. It tastes good as well. Everybody likes peanut butter. And there you go, smoothie done. Uh, for the rice, today I added two scrambled eggs. Usually I, I don't really use eat eggs a lot, but today I was Today I was feeling like it, so I whisked up two eggs. To make them extra fluffy, I add a little water. A lot of people use milk, but water actually makes it fluffier. As you can see, you've got the rice cooking in the rice cooker on the top of the screen. We've got the eggs simmering. Oh, you also got the sweet potatoes and squash cooking. Give it a few flips here. Eggs are almost done. There you go. Scoop yourself some rice. Put a little potato and butternut squash on top. Top it off with some scrambled eggs. And for the final touch, you add some 
holy guacamole packet. Pretty convenient, didn't have any avocados, so. And I love avocados, so I had to I had to find something, some substitute. Top it off with a little salt and pepper. And just like that, smoothie and rice, done. 